Freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy, one of the most beloved characters in AEW history and in AEW currently. Orange Cassidy is a fantastic character. People love him. Fans uh, love to cheer for him. Multiple accolades in the past, mainly one of the longest reigning international champions, most defenses if I'm not mistaken. Again, that title reign was fantastic. And this Saturday, at full gear, he has a shot at AEW's top prize, the AEW World's Heavyweight Championship. And he's facing a sadistic, more extreme, more violent version of John Moxley than, than we've ever seen in his entire career. And it's fine. It's all good and well. And again, I understand the fact that this is a transitional feud. This is a transitional rivalry. This is a transitional match. There's absolutely no chance in hell that Orange Cassidy walks out of full gear as AEW World's Champion. There's not a chance. He might put up a good fight. Hell, AEW might be able to tell a story and make a statement. Moxley is going to end or is going to be able to end the match like that. But he won't. He's going to keep beating him down. He's going to keep beating him to a pulp to send a message to the rest of the AEW locker room. Make no mistake about it. Moxley and the BCC, they're going to continue to run all elite wrestling for the remainder of this year. And it's going to continue at full gear. My issue with this match is that it's predictable. It's 100% predictable who's going to win. Sometimes that's good. And again, it, if it helps the story, if it's for storytelling purposes, like John Moxley sending a message, I'm all for it. But there are so much more you can do with the current AEW roster. Hell, there's so much more you can do with Orange Cassidy. And again, Cassidy has been one of the most beloved characters in AEW's history. But he's got to evolve. He's got to grow. He's got to change. And he's got to put his game face on for this match. He's got to put his game face on. He's got to get serious for this feud, for this rivalry. And unfortunately, that's not the road they've been taking. He still continues to do what he's done for the past few years. Mocking moves that don't actually hurt. That don't actually cause damage. And he still gets the living crap beat out of him. And fans love him for that. I get it. But even though the Honky Tonk Man was at one point the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion, he was the second top champion in the WWF back in the day, there was absolutely no chance, nobody thought back then, that he could ever beat Hulk Hogan and become WWF Champion. This is the equivalent of Brock Lesnar defending the WWE Championship in Saudi Arabia against Ricochet. Nobody thought Ricochet was going to win that match. Much like at full gear, nobody thinks Orange Cassidy is going to walk out as champion. Now, again, my hopes is that for storytelling purposes, and I've hoped that they, they don't get as extreme as they did as all in, in, at All Out, but for storytelling purposes, they must beat the living shit out of Orange Cassidy. Leave him in a bloody pulp. No pun intended. Take him out of commission. John Moxley needs to start sending people to the hospital. He needs to start sending people out for months at a time. Much like Randy Orton did in 2009 with his Viper character. So that Moxley's title reign, Moxley's reign at the helm of AEW gets 
tighter and tighter and tighter until we finally get a hero in AEW. And again, they have to start building up baby faces in AEW because they are severely lacking in that department. And in the meantime, Orange Cassidy, he takes some time off. And when he comes back, more serious, more defined character. And he can actually try to pursue the world championship seriously for the first time in his career. Now, Full Gear has two matches that I'm looking forward to. It's not the main event, of course. I'm looking forward to Kyle Fletcher versus Will Ospreay. That's going to be, in my opinion, match of the night. And then we're going to have a very... And I, uh, Kyle Fletcher is going to win that match with some interference, of course. They have to continue that feud. And then we're going to have a very WWE-esque match in the Destroyer Bobby Lashley against former AEW World Champion Swerve Strickland. That one is in the air for me because, again, feeding Swerve Strickland to Bobby Lashley is not something I'm looking forward to. But again, you can't have Bobby Lashley lose his debut pay-per-view match for AEW. So that's gonna that's that's the most unpredictable match on full gear. Other than that, what are your thoughts on this upcoming pay-per-view Saturday night? Are you excited about it? Do you think Orange Cassidy has a chance to actually walk out world champion? Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in the comment section below. My name is Alexis Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.